Welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy, and today is Tag Tuesday, but this is kind of a different Tag Tuesday from what I usually do. I want to share with you how I did these tags. Now, obviously, I didn't make the tag itself, but I did something to them that I found very interesting and a little unexpected. I have a tendency to not want to <laughs> get rid of anything including colored water. And when I was doing my washi, not washi, my watercolor challenge, I ended up with some interesting colors of paint in my, or not paint, but water in my rinse jars. And I didn't want to throw it away. And I was walking past, let's see, my stack of tags that I got and for some reason it occurred to me why don't you try dyeing with that paper or with that um, watercolor water and so I poured my yellow now this has gotten a little thick because some of it's evaporated I poured this into this pan and then I added all of these tags and I let them soak and I actually let them soak for probably too long because I forgot about them for a couple of days but they turned out so pretty I did not expect the color from the um, hole reinforcer to run I don't know why I didn't expect it I didn't expect it and I just now noticed as I'm showing you my numbers are gone on here. It's got a little orangey color right there. So I've got some reds and pink spots in here as well, but since I used some iridescent watercolors, and see I got them wet when I put them in there, I used some iridescent watercolors as well, and so there is a subtle shimmer on all of these, and I cannot get my camera to pick it up for anything. So let's see. I don't know. This one seems to be fairly sparkly, but I don't know if you can see that shimmer at all, but I can see it. And when you see it in person, you can see it. So I just thought I'd share with you my next batch. So I have, again, I've got my tub here. And I was doing some painting with blue. And again, there's some blue shimmer in here. I'll just stir that up just a little bit so it's not all on the bottom. A little bit of opalescence, a little bit of glitter. And I'm going to pour that in there. Now, obviously, that's not enough to put tags in. So I brought some extra water in with me. And seriously, you don't need much more than that. That is probably less than half an inch deep. And so now I am just going to add the tags one at a time. And then I will leave these, hopefully not for a few days, but I will leave them for a while enough so that they can get pretty well colored, pretty well saturated, and we'll see what we get. Now, when you're doing this, try not to stack them exactly one on top of the next one um, in the same way. And do make sure that you get all of them wet. I may end up having to add a little bit more water. After I get all the tags in there, we'll find out. Thank you. 
I took the yellow that I had in this jar and added it to the, the yellow is what I did these with, okay? And then I did blue, and I'll show you those when they're dry. But then I thought, you know what? I bet that would make a really nice green. And so I added the blue to the yellow, and it does look like a really nice green in there. But take a look at these cards, these tags. The green didn't quite come through except for some spots where I went back and added a puddle of it. There is more of a yellow in spots and a blue in spots because they didn't blend. And you might be able to see, let's see if I put some paper under here. You can see that the blue doesn't want to stay mixed in with the yellow. So I got some interesting looks. When they're dry, we'll get to see what that is. All right, so we started with plain tags that look just like this. And the first set that I did with my watercolor wash, which was the yellow that had the iridescence sparkles and stuff like that in it, and they turned out like this. And I like, I like the pink that ended up on there. I like that the string picked up a lot of the yellow. There are some spots of the pink from the original orangish, orange, orange? Maybe it's more of a rust color of the whole reinforcers. And once again, I wish you could see the shimmer on them. They are so pretty. And the funny thing is that they really don't dye much on the back. Now, these died a little bit more than the others. And it's probably because I left them in the tub of water for like three or four days. And so I think those turned out nice. I like them a lot. They did used to have numbers on them. And the numbers just turned into yellowish orangey splotches, which I think are still pretty. Then, after I did that one, I changed the water out for some blue. And the blue had more of a, um, let's see, it had some iridescence in it as well, but it also had shimmer, um, shimmer watercolors in it. And they turned out... I think these are beautiful. And I have to tell you, when they were still wet, I didn't think much of them because apparently the blue just didn't show up very well when they were wet. I think they turned out really pretty. The funny thing is on the back, you can just barely see any color change at all. I just think that's really strange. That is just from sitting on another one of those uh, hole reinforcers. There's little splotches of blue here and there on some of them. I just think that's really strange, and I think it's because of the density of the particles that were in the water. Since it wasn't just dye, but it had the shimmer and the uh, glitter in it, that I think it all just settled on the top instead of being on the backside too. And I think that actually helps because it makes it a little more writable on this side, a little more decorative on this side. Then... I have not gotten rid of my yellow that, from doing this set, and I still had my blue, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I can get some green tags. So I mixed the two together, and what I got isn't really green. It's actually pretty close to what the yellow was, but you can see just a slight difference. The big difference, though, is that I have the blue shimmer sitting on top so they do look different than the just yellow ones. And again, the backs just really didn't get much color. So they're just slightly green. They've got some blue on the top. They have a whole lot of sparkle and shimmer. So since I do like to use my watercolors for various things, I think that I will be dyeing some more tags and some more papers and seeing what else I can come up with different colors and different kinds of watercolor paints. Because 
you know, this one had the glitter, this one had shimmer, this one has both. And I have, these are all the shimmer, they're the pearlescent. I have this set, which is, I think it's um, Michael's Recollections. And it's just plain old watercolors. But then I also have, I also have this set of neon colors. I have another set of metallic colors. And then I have the very sparkly colors from Crayola. If I take that lid off, you could probably see that better. The sparkly ones have the glitter just built in. So I am going to play with my watercolors, but not just by watercoloring. I am going to be playing with dyeing papers and such with my watercolors. Why don't you give it a try? If you have tried this, let me know below. And if you want to share pictures, pop on over to my Facebook page. It is Ephemera Files by Tommy. I would love to see what you come up with. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, be kind. Bye.